Hello and welcome into the 3D. In this tutorial, we will create this portal effect in Unreal Engine 5. Before we start, this YouTube channel created to support people who want to get educated in animation and video games. If you think this channel is worth to support, and if you want to see more educational tutorials on this channel, hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to like this video. Let's get back to the tutorial and go to your content browser. Right click on this area and I will create a new folder. This new folder will contain all of our VFX, so we can rename it as VFX. Open the folder, right click again, and let's create an address system. In this new panel, select the first option, hit the next button, go under templates, scroll down, and select the simple sprite burst template. Click on the plus icon and hit finished. This Nitro system will be our portal effect, so I will rename it as Portal NS, and basically NS means Nitro system. If you double click on this, it will open the Nitro systems interface. This one is our main emitter, so we can rename it as main. And this panel on the left is our preview panel. We can see the preview of our particles and currently this emitter just spawning this particle. Before the emitter settings, let's go under window, open the preview scene settings and on the right panel under the preview scene settings, go under environment and untick the show environment option. If you want, you can change the background color as well. I will keep it dark grey. Close the preview scene settings, go to the emitter, find the scale color module, select that, and since we don't need this, we can just hit delete. Now the first setting that I want to change is the spawn burst setting. Select that. Go to the selection panel, find the spawn count and change it to 50. On the preview panel, you will see the particles start glowing and it is because there are 50 particles spawned on top of each other. Now let's go to the initialize particle settings, change the lifetime mode to random, set the minimum lifetime to 1.5 and maximum, we can keep it as it is. Then, I want to change the color to glowing blue, so keep the R and G as it is, and increase the B to 10. Under that, find the surprise size mode, change it to random uniform, make the minimum 1, and maximum 10. Finally, go to the sprite rotation mode, and set it to random. Next, we can play with the particle state settings. Select that and untick the kill particles when lifetime has elapsed option. So the particles will not die and they will always stay in our scene. Now we will add an interesting module. Click on the plus icon next to the particle update and search for rotate around point. This module will control the rotations of our particles. To do that, go to the rotation phase, click on this arrow and search for return normalize execution index. Keep the index one and let me move our camera a bit so you can see the movement of the particles clearly. Let's also increase the rotation index, maybe 0.2. Now you will see the particles start moving. Great, but we are not done with this module. Find the radius, click on the arrow and add a sign attribute to that. You will see it will make much difference on the movement. 
Let's change the period to 2. Scale to maybe something like 80. And now we got this effect. But as a last setting, we need to change the bias to 60. I think we are done with this emitter. But before we finish, I want to show you one more setting under the properties. It is called local space. I will enable it, but before that, I will explain why we need this. If I import the system to my scene, you will see the particles are snapped to the ground. And even I am trying to move them, they are not moving at all. Go back to the system, enable the local space, and you will see that we got the control of our particles. Let me place it somewhere in my scene so we can see it clearly. Great. Let's open the Nightmare system again. Select our first emitter and press Ctrl and D to duplicate the emitter. The second emitter will be our trails so we can rename it as trail. On this emitter, we don't need to spawn any particles, so we can delete the spawn burst module. Then click on the plus icon next to the emitter update and search for spawn particles from other emitter. As soon as we import this, we got an issue. And to fix it, we can just click on the fix issue button and it will add another module under the particle spawn and it is called sample particles from other emitter. On the selection panel it is asking for an emitter reference so we need to write the emitter name and it should be exactly the same. And my particles look like this right now. Also, we don't need the rotate around point module in the trail emitter. Select and hit delete. I know this is not what we need, but we will fix it in few minutes. Let's select the emitter state and change the loop behavior to infinite. Then go to the spawn particle from other emitter setting and change the spawn rate to 100. Also, change the spawn rate per particle to maybe 10,000. Ok, let's see what we can do next. Go to the initialize particle settings, change the lifetime mode to direct and make the lifetime 0.8. Then go to the sprite size mode and make it uniform and make the size 10. Now we need to kill the particles. For that let's select the particle state and enable the kill particles when lifetime has a lapsed option. This is what we made so far and it is already looks great. To make it even better Click on the plus icon next to the particle update and search for scale sprite size. Change the template to linear ramp down. Then select both of the keyframes, right click and select the user mode to smooth them. Looks great but I think there are a few more settings that we cannot. Click on the plus icon next to the particle update again. Search for curl noise force. You will see there is some noise. But let's make this blend 100. You can even make it 500 or more. But I will keep it 100. And make the noise frequency something around 20. Finally. Go to the particle update, search for color and on the selection panel 
let's make color from the curve. For the first color, make the red 0, green 0 and blue something around 40. And for the second one, make the red something around 20, green 0 and blue 0. Let me close the grid from the preview panel. Looks great, we can keep it like this. If you're happy with the result, click compile, save, close the Nitra system and enjoy with the result. So that was it for today and if you like this tutorial, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.